Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com and today is show number eight. Today we're here at beautiful Lake George in upstate New York and we're going to bring you our muscle testing tip as well as a new health tip. And today your health tip is I want you to get and read this book about play. The importance of play, how it shapes the brain, how it opens the imagination, and how it invigorates the soul. It's written by Dr. Stuart Brown. He's a medical doctor. He's the foremost world researcher on play. And the reason we're bringing this tip to you today here at Lake George is because I've taken the time out with my partner, Melanie, and some other friends of ours to come to Lake George and play for the day. We went to the beach. We went to the water slides. We took a nap in the sun. And it's really important. Research is proving that the importance of play in one's life cannot be overemphasized. In today's fast-paced world, people are going all the time, they're working all the time, and many people are burned out, they're tired, they're exhausted, and they don't take enough time for themselves to rest and rejuvenate and get back that sense of play and fun and fulfillment in their life that they had when they were children. They fa research has found that our brains are biologically wired to have play, have fun, have creativity, and it actually nurtures the neural networks in our brain. If you're feeling tired or burned out, it may be because you're working a lot, you're stressed out, and you're not taking enough time for yourself to have fun. And what does play mean to you? You have to figure that out for yourself. I highly recommend this book by Dr. Stuart Brown. Just one more point on that. A lot of people think that they don't have time for play or they feel guilty about play because they should be working all the time. And what they found with research is that play is not actually the opposite of work. They found that play is actually a complement to work. And the opposite of work, if all someone does is work all the time, the actual, the, the opposite of play is depression. Okay, so it's really important. If you're not feeling well, if you can't figure out what's going on in your life, take some time out for yourself. So that's your health tip and your longevity tip for this week. And your muscle testing tip is you can probably hear a lot of the noise that's going on in the background. We hear the lovely waves splashing against the shore. There are ducks here. There's a horse-drawn carriage going by. There's traffic. A lot of times there's been speedboats going by, people playing at the beach. And your muscle testing tip for today, which is one of the things that we teach in our live workshops and seminars and in our home study course, is that if you're going to practice muscle testing, you want to do it in a calm... <laughs> Couldn't have cued that any better. <laughs> you want to practice your muscle testing in a calm quiet, there's a horn from a car, calm, quiet, relaxed environment. Because if you're truly going to get into what's going on with testing things and asking questions of the body like we teach and encourage you to do, then it needs to be done in a calm, quiet, relaxed environment. You don't want traffic, little kids playing, disturbing animals. You don't even want music in the background. Even if it's music that you like, the energy field of the music is going to affect what's going on with the testing. So anyway, that's your, tip for, that's your muscle testing tip for this week. Please practice muscle testing and kinesiology with the tips that we're giving you here on, at MuscleTestingTV.com. Check out our uh, home study course. Utilize it if you've purchased it already. Take a look at our uh, live workshops and seminars. We hope to see you sometime soon. Have fun with it. And remember, you are the source of your own happiness. This is Dr. Andrew Collier. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.